This happened on a typical night when I was at home alone drinking a cup of coffee while staying up in my room to finish some work. I had a tight deadline, and working late tonight would make the rest of the week much easier for me. I was sitting at my laptop on my desk, completely focused and a little tired. But my focus was interrupted when I heard a thud sound from under the stairs. I looked towards the entrance of my room, where the sound echoed, but remembered that it was raining outside and that the sound might just be the house creaking in the rain and wind. I continued working, only to be disturbed again a few moments later by another thud sound. I got up and walked down the stairs. All the lights were off, but I waited for the sound to come again so I could try and figure out where it was coming from, just to make sure it wasn't something serious. I was still tired, and there was no reason to believe that it was anything other than the house making noise. And after waiting for a minute, I went back upstairs, waiting for something that likely wasn't there. Just wasting my time that I wanted to spend working so I could sleep. I returned to my laptop, and worked for another hour and a half without hearing any other sounds from downstairs other than some occasional small pebbles. It was almost 1am, and I was almost done with what I needed to do tonight, when another louder thud echoed in the house, this time coming from under the stairs. I got up and hurried to the stairs, a little more concerned now, but there was no one there. I went down a few steps and looked over the railing, but the house was now as quiet and empty as usual. The rain was still falling, but this seemed too loud and frequent than anything that could be caused by rain. After waiting again though, I became impatient and returned to my room. I didn't know what was happening, but I still couldn't see how it could be anything more than the house creaking. I sat back down at my desk, and almost immediately another thud sound was heard in the house, this time coming from the hallway outside my half-open room. I looked towards the door and not until a second later did a figure walk past the hallway in the opposite direction. My heart skipped a beat as I felt a wave of shock run through me. I heard them walk into one of the spare bedrooms and assuming they didn't know I was home, I ran to the door and locked it. The footsteps stopped instantly, then started quickly back down the hallway and right towards my door. I stepped back and tried to find something to use as a weapon. At this point I might be able to call 911, but I thought I was too worried about something happening. Before they had time to come, I grabbed a pair of scissors from my desk as the man knocked on the other side of the door. He then started kicking it because it sounded like the door could break from its frame at any moment. But then he stopped. I heard heavy breathing from near the door, then footsteps go down my stairs. I grabbed my phone from my desk and called 911 as their steps started making their way through the downstairs hallway, a closed door. I thought it was the back door, and then the house became silent. The police actually came very fast, arriving at my house only in two or three minutes, and I almost experienced fear again when I heard footsteps running out of my house. I thought by closing the door, he was trying to bait me into thinking he left, which kind of worked, but I was still too scared to go downstairs without the police there. Anyway, I ran out and got the police, but whoever the man was, he was already gone, and even with more patrol cars in the neighborhood, they never found him. There's so many questions haunting me for the rest of my life, probably especially because he's out there now and could be stalking me or waiting for another time to get in. I mean, it's unclear, but the investigators seem to think that he got into the house in the morning, maybe when I was out. Likely he waited for me to be asleep before doing whatever he planned. But if he was hiding for hours, I think that wouldn't be enough just to steal a few things.